Steve Wallbach, your friendly public adjuster. I've got a, a colleague here with me, a good friend. His name's Jason. Uh, good morning, Jason. How are you? Doing well, are you? Good, good. I, I, I want to, this is a little impromptu thing, J Jason. Uh, I just caught him off the, the uh, blue here. And I wanted to just ask him a couple of questions about public adjusters. You know, I'm sort of like the, the guy on the street coming up to someone, although in this case I actually do know Jason. But uh, the, the bottom line to this is, Jason, as far as the term public adjuster, uh, before you got to know me, have you ever heard of that term before? I have, but only just from knowing a guy who said he was a public adjuster. Okay. Uh, and so you really didn't have all the background of what really public adjusters do. No. To, to what extent did you really know about it? What, what just knew if there was a fire, he said, call me. To help, help you <laughs> at that point. Okay. Exactly. All right. Um, no, that makes sense. Um, as far as public adjusters go, from what you do know now, what do you think is, is there a need, is there a, a role that a public adjuster plays in uh, the, the situation of a homeowner when they've had damage? Absolutely. You know, from the stories you've shared with me and the different situations people find themselves in, I think it's important to have somebody who's able to be there as an advocate to make sure you're getting the amount of money that you expect to get when you pay for an insurance policy. And I hate to be in a situation like some of the folks you tell me before they might get where they're getting maybe half or even less of potentially what they could have get. Mm -hmm. so I think you, you have a, a huge uh, need out there that's almost unknown for people because it goes beyond just the insurance that everybody's educated to say, hey, you need it. But is it truly there for you when you have something happen? You're the guy I call now to make sure it's there for me. Oh, good. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I, in insurance companies, we tend to see more and more as they uh, are there when it's time for the premium to be paid. But then when there is a damage and you know, the homeowner needs help, it's all of a sudden it's like crickets, you know, they disappeared there. And not a good thing. As a homeowner, ever suffered damage? Do you think a public adjuster, I mean, is that somebody that you would want to enlist the services to have help you? Absolutely. I want to make sure I'm getting all the money I've been paying toward insurance back and all the claims that I would have in that situation. So. I give you a call. And, and as far as you're concerned, th there's definitely a value added by having a public adjuster. That That's happen. not something you would feel comfortable to represent yourself? No, no I wouldn't even know where to begin. <laughs> I see. I even know where to begin. All right, well, I appreciate your frankness there. You know, some people, they feel that, hey, look, I'm an intelligent guy. I, I should be able to work this stuff out. But, I mean, that's why there are specialties, aren't there? So I don't want to spend 10 hours doing something you might be able to do in 20 minutes. There you go. And, and have a very favorable <laughs> result. Right, right, right. All right, well, Jason, I want to thank you very much for taking a couple of minutes to talk with me here. And I certainly wish you the best of luck. Well, my pleasure, Steve. Take care.